Hello everybody and welcome back to Fruitini's channel. Um, this is just going to be a quick video to show you the finished product and it is framed, believe it or not, of the Ever Moment um, diamond painting that I was working on um, of my mom's cat. Um, you will have seen in previous live streams me working on this painting. Um, I finally completed it yesterday and I just want to show you what it looks like framed. This absolutely looks stunning. It was a total pan in the rear to try and get into the frame mind and it took quite a while to try and find a frame that um, that would fit um, because the, it was a bit of an awkward size. So it, it is like slightly um, bigger border at the top than it is at the bottom. But apart from that, I mean, you can see all the glistening of the diamonds. You can see everything okay. So that's really cool. Um, if I just take a little step closer, just to give you a little look at the drills from behind the... Um, the glass ignore the blue lights in the background that's my Christmas lights that you can see but just look at that this is absolutely stunning now I know I say that with pretty much every painting that I do but with ever moment I just cannot words can't comprehend and I honestly do think that my mom is going to absolutely adore this painting when she opens it on Christmas morning. I think she's really, she's really going to be taken aback, I think. Absolutely flawless. Now I got this frame, um, I can't remember the exact size of it because this painting was um, 45 by 60 centimetres. So I got a frame slightly bigger um, and I think it cost around $9.99 from the range, which I didn't think was too bad in price. So there we go, guys. That's what it looks like. Absolutely stunning. And that's how it looks. Oops focus that's how it looks in the um, in the frame when it's complete I think it looks amazing <laughs> I'm really I have nothing bad to say about this painting at all it's been such an absolute pleasure to work on I just I have nothing bad to say and I know I've said that so many times like in my live streams um, just how amazing it's been to work on this painting and now it's actually in a frame it's just it doesn't in certain in certain ways that you look at it if you if you are standing a considerable distance away it doesn't even look like a diamond painting it actually looks like a painting of of the cat sometimes you can't even tell and the only giveaway really is the glisten that you can see on the uh, on the drills itself and considering it's in a frame because I was always worried about putting these in a frame as whether or not it was going to lose its shine but it hasn't I have also sealed this with a Tombow aqua glue um, I sealed it yesterday let it dry overnight and I framed it this afternoon and uh, and it's it's done a wonderful job there's there's no dull, dull dullness of the diamonds at all I think it's uh, I mean as you can see it's still sparkling just as good as it was before okay and just to quickly show you as well these are all the drills that I had left over if my phone will focus okay so we've got lots of drills left over there was one or two like bad drills which is understandable But these, this is exactly what I've had left over from at the end of the painting. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of drills left over. And there we go. 
This one here, um, where is it? Right, 956. This was my favourite colour of all in this painting. It actually looks so vibrant. It actually looks quite dull on the um, on the screen right now, but it actually looks like a fluorescent orange. So there we go. Complete. So I'll have one more look at the painting then. Sorry for my fingers, I'm recording this on my phone. There we go. I have to keep focusing on the camera. So there we go then. One diamond painting complete. Um, this actually took me 14 days and approximately 65 hours. So I worked on this on average between four and six hours a day. So that's quite a lot of um, diamond painting that I've got done over the last couple of weeks. I mean, I don't normally um, spend so much time in one go diamond painting, but obviously because I've got a time limit, um, I had to get this done in 21 days. I got it done in 14. So because I had that such a strict time limit, I was really worried that I wasn't gonna get it done. And then if I did get it done, that I wasn't gonna find a frame and you know how the scenario goes. So I really like worked hard to, to get this finished and it just so happens I did it in 14 days and approximately 65 hours. So there we go guys, one diamond painting complete. Um, I will be doing a live on Sunday. Um, I was gonna do um, like a setup video of my next diamond painting, but because it's a Hoover can, their diamonds um, are already in Ziploc bags, so there isn't really that much setting up to do. So what I might do is I might start getting everything prepared and ready, um, just so I can start the um, diamond painting tomorrow night on my live. So hopefully you'll be able to, to stop by the stream tomorrow night, starting around 8pm UK time. And um, we'll make a start on our next painting, which is going to be the lighthouse, the custom lighthouse from Who We Can. Um, looking forward to working on it, but a little bit apprehensive at the same time. Um, obviously with the recent issues that Who We Can have had. Um, I just want to finalise just by saying this painting that I've completed today, in case you didn't know, is from Evermoment. And it, it is a custom. It's a 45 centimetre by 60 centimetre. Um, and it's um, an image of my mum's cat who passed away um, a couple of years ago. Um, November just gone. Two years ago, November just gone. So this is a custom from Ever Moment and it's been an absolute pleasure. I have emailed Zoe from Ever Moment just to say to her how, how amazing this painting has turned out. And I, I just wanted to send her a personal thank you. So um, hopefully she'll see that email soon and... Um, and see what she says if she replies so thanks for watching everybody if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up um please put any comments um down below if you have any questions or anything else you would like to know about the painting um until next time then guys i will see you soon take care and i'll see you later bye